Who's that sleeping on the couch? It's Charles Ball staying in the house. Charles Ball, it's time to wake up. There's a morning talk show for you to be in. Be in. You're going to be in a talk show. You might have been drunk last night and hung over now. But now, now Charles Ball's going to be in a talk show. No, please. Come on, Charles. You know the drill. You might have had a couple weeks off, but you aren't, you aren't crazy. I made it special this morning for you. Made it real special. I I wanted to go all out. Uh, are you okay? No. Are you no, sure? No, I'm not okay. <laughs> you don't look very good. Oh. Here. This is going to make you feel a lot better. I made you breakfast. Oh. Breakfast and couch. This is this this plate's for you. This is the butter. Oh. And here's some maple syrup. It's Aunt Jemima. Uh, the spoon is for the butter, and uh, you'll have the baby fork, because if there's somebody in this room that's a real man that deserves the fork with the longer prongs, it's me. It's me. All right, I'll take some of that butter. Oh. Can I have the spoon for the butter? <laughs> oh, now you need help. Well, I just wanted you to know I prepared for this, and quite honestly, it looks like you haven't even woken up yet. No, what? No. Oh, what? You know, it's it's a little, we're a little late, but I guess I think this is probably the, the smoothest that I've gotten this show live on the air, Charles. Oh, uh, what? Well, yeah? Because we're using the right camera. We're recording on Ustream, and just in case we're recording on my telephone. That way the, there's no way that this show won't go up. Oh. So if you're thinking there might be a redo or something, I'm sorry. This is for real. We are, we are live. Oh, hey everybody, thanks for having me. Oh, I don't, I, well. What? <laughs> oh, I think I'm still too drunk to eat right now. I think oh, come honestly. on, Charles. Come on, Charles. Oh wow. I'll tell you what. I'll make it easy on you. You can have this freshly buttered food. Oh, I, no. No. I'm good. Thank you, though. Thank you, James. Thank you, everybody out there. <laughs> no, uh, welcome. Keep, keep this uh, with you. Keep this with you in case okay, you want some later. Okay. You don't have to eat it right now. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Come on, Charles. You don't have to oh, eat it right this second. Oh, wow. Okay. If you're still drunk out there, I want everybody to remember that whenever I say something stupid or that doesn't make sense... You have to drink water or whatever you have to replenish the electrolytes in your body. Electrolytes? Uh, I don't know. I think it's I think they're brain cells. It's what you lose if you drink too much. Brain day. cells. Uh, yeah. Typically, it's Gatorade. Oh. Mm. Oh. But did you just it, chug that syrup? I wouldn't call it chugging. I'd say take a shot. You just took a shot of that syrup, of that cold, cold maple syrup. You know, it says not to put it in the microwave. I stood in front of the microwave for about 15 minutes, wondering what the dangers were. <laughs> they put the whole thing in the microwave. No, it says not to. Uh oh. It says, it says, oh my god. I mean, I think you can microwave that. No, you can't microwave plastic. That's not good. Up oh. to okay. the head. It doesn't say it. it you doesn't gotta say chug it. that syrup. I said something dumb. <laughs> Wait, I gotta go get something that's not syrup. No, you need to chug that real quick. There you go. Mm. Mm. So, okay. What 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 did you do last night? Oh wait, so so that, that's a great idea. Chug Gatorade. How healthy. And if what if, if people are in the UK can they chug can they chug alcohol if they're overseas? Um yeah, I mean and all our friends in Finland and Norway. Hello everybody in Europe. Hello everybody in Europe. Well, did you not check the comments last time? I'd say there was almost more people outside of the United States. I think there is. If people are drinking Gatorade right now, those people aren't hung over. It's oh. like nine o'clock at night and they're getting their party started and they're drinking Gatorade. 
Yeah. Well, I mean, you can always mix Gatorade with other things. You can do whatever you want, you know? I mean, I don't know if your country's free, but this one is. Um, <laughs> How condescending. What if their country's not free? Well, technically, America's not really that free. It's pretty free. It's pretty goddamn free. Thank you. I mean, look at what we're doing now. Yeah, I mean, exactly. No, you can drink whatever you want. I'm just... I'm three sheets closer to death. <laughs> That's basically where I am right now. I've had a couple of weeks off, and I have not made any changes in my life. Um, mm, that's not true. You have a place to live. I do have a place to live. It's this couch. <laughs> oh, I, I've been gone for a little bit. My car has become a hotel for me. Um, that's true. And we can't film inside the car. I remember, kids, you know, this is one thing that I would like to tell you out there. You can always, you know, sleep in your car, but you can never drive your house. Okay? So so do things rationally first. Um, you know, there's a couple of things that I want to talk about since we've been away for a little bit. The Olympics are over. They're totally over. Single tier. I, I lost interest about a week and a half in. Well, like, I don't even remember the closing ceremonies. Did they even have them, or were they just like, ah, oh, we've had enough? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I, I just don't really remember there being a lot of, like, spark that went off with it, you know? No. Um, everybody's been talking a lot about uh, the women, and I'm really happy to say this. I love equality. Yay! Women be equal. Women be equal. You sound kind of sunny again. Um, I mean, I'm not kind of condescending. No, I probably used the wrong word there. You um, sound sarcastic. What do you mean, women be equal? Women be equal, son. Shit's cray. Um, women won enough gold medals, aside from the United States, that they would have been the third place at the Olympics. The United States women won enough gold medals. Didn't Michael Phelps do that in 2008? win enough medals that he, he could account for a small country? Oh, well, yes, but he wouldn't have placed third in the Olympics. Um, oh, I see. Yeah, that. the United States women won enough gold medals, or won enough medals, I'm sorry. Oh, fuck. Hmm? Oh, oh, God, I gotta get something else to drink. This is disgusting. You should have thought of this. Mm. What did you say? <laughs> what did we lose on? I said that, um... The, the women won enough gold medals as opposed to just medals in general. But yeah. yeah. Um, oh, I think I'm drinking water too fast. Yeah, you know, I think I'm probably going to throw up water at this point, amongst other things. You know, what when you mean, drink... doesn't Sunday always turn into that sooner or later? Well, yes, yeah. yes. I mean, and you know, hopefully the clock will turn mimosa time and I can just <laughs> ride this thing into Monday. <laughs> oh, oh! Yeah. Oh, and I don't know if you'll notice out there, friends in America and Europe, I ain't got no pants on. I ain't got no pants on. I ain't got no pants on on the talk show. Yeah, I don't know. We tried to fix that last time. Some people didn't want you to have no pants on. Yeah, I you know. Have, you have I know. Pants. But guess who prevailed? You can't censor me. This is the internet. It's that series of tubes where I can show my dick. <laughs> well, please don't. Please don't. I don't know. I don't know. But we're back. Uh. Okay. Oh, I'm very much still drunk. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> I'm like, I'm really happy with this right now. Like, I'm at that happy medium where I'm asleep. I mean, my body has no idea that I'm awake right now. And my brain is just... <laughs> I'll tell you what, my neighbors know that you're awake right now. <laughs> You just shouted, you just shouted, uh, I'm naked on your couch. I don't know what it was. I think we should drink to what you were oh. saying. Mm. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you, you need some syrup for those pancakes? Mm. Mm. Oh. I feel, <laughs> I feel a little sick. You don't say, me too. Here, you want, you want one of those? Here, swap me. This way, you know... I clean my plate, Mom and Dad. Uh, well, I think that the most interesting thing about the uh, Olympics being over was, and he didn't really have competed this year, but Lance Armstrong 
uh, forfeited any any um, rights to arguing about doping. Well, first of all, that has nothing to do with the Olympics. Uh, was he not the winner of the Tour de France of the Olympics 2008? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you did right that to me. yourself. You did that to yourself. I don't yourself. know when he wins these things. Are... Yeah, Lance Armstrong. And this is great, James. I'm really happy that you want to talk about that because um, Lance Armstrong did give up his... Or he stopped fighting. He stopped fighting. The F... Uh, you can't it? stop fighting something F-D-A-D-A. like that and then F-D-A-D-A. later fight it again. Yeah. And let's, actually, that's a pretty cheap move. That would be good if he was like, I'm not going to fight it. And, and they sucker like, punched him. He was like, oh, I had double cancer. <laughs> um, yeah, like that... He gave up his fight with the... Uh, ADADA. In the AD, <laughs> God, I did that. I was just trying to say some sort of anagram that I thought would make sense. Um, but yeah, he stopped. He stopped fighting in court, and they totally burned him, and they took away his seven Tour de France titles. What if he didn't have them anymore? Like he pawned them. Like OJ did his Heisman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly like that. But he didn't. It's not like the Heisman. He may not have, but he could always have had said, I'm sorry. I, I, I lost I got, him, I yeah. Lost I just I went through a, a nasty divorce. Mm-hmm. You know, I've, I've moved a couple of times. They're heavy. I figured I'd just keep winning more. I don't know. I just don't think... I think... Uh, I mean, he was, he was doping. Are you going to take it back now? They're pretty good. They're a little soggy. Um, I, I think it was... I, I microwave and toasted these. Mm. Sustenance. Oh, I'm so poor right now. I know. Like... So am I. I don't, I don't even want to poop because it's like... I just ate this food. I paid money for this. You know what I mean? I do. I was like, I gotta I keep this. I, mean. I gotta make this last. But yeah, Lance Armstrong is no longer one of the most prominent athletes in United States history. I don't think just because you take someone's medals away, it makes them less prominent. He could still race the shit out of a bike. He'd be roided up. But man, <laughs> I would not race Lance Armstrong. Well, I was going to say, I mean, athlete. that's like, yeah, but it was like when Mark McGuire hit all, and Sammy Sosa hit all those home runs. They looked like fucking bobbleheads. Like they were on so many like different performance enhancing, enhancing drugs that like as big as they were and as gigantic as their arms were, their heads didn't. Blah, I mean, like baseball been very very good to me. Uh, um, you know what? I've eaten almost all of your food. I'm sorry. You you are pretty poor. You should think twice about passing up this. It's not going to get any better than no. There's food. There's food. There's food. Um, this is the segment of the show. It's a little cooking segment called Keeping It Down. <laughs> um, oh, okay. And another thing. Lance. God <laughs> damn it. The word Lance got us in trouble? Or is it another thing? What did you do? Neil Armstrong died. <laughs> I almost said Lance Armstrong died. Just because I was wishfully betting against him. Wait, Neil Armstrong died? Yeah. When? Neil Armstrong died yesterday, I believe. Um, Cheers to... <laughs> I feel dirty now. Yeah, I know. Well, mm. probably because you just spilled half that coffee on yourself. I can't believe... He, are you sure he died? Yeah. I mean, I haven't seen his corpse. So he was the third in the run of the people. There was the mm. guy from the directed Top Gun. <laughs> Which I'm sure he <laughs> listen, I feel bad. I'm not good with names. <laughs> His name is Tony Scott. Way to have memory for the dead. And He's first got... of all, don't compare Tony Scott, a British filmmaker, with... I almost called him Lance again. Damn it! <laughs> wait, wait, Neil wait, Armstrong. You get a problem. If you're drinking because you almost did something, I mean, that's not fair. Wait until it comes out. Okay, alright. I'll do that. And the cap goes back on. No water for you. No water for or me. Catering. Oh, old Charles can work this one out. Well, I'm not comparing them, but it really, this one had an arc. I mean, they, they die in threes, but sometimes the arc is different. This one started with Tony Scott, who's got first, a couple first names. Then Phyllis Diller. <laughs> and she, she's a really old person. She's like 95. What was she in? Golden Girls? 
<laughs> but now we can do this. Thank you. It only took that long. Oh. Um, Phyllis well, what Diller. Was she? she was... She was on a number of things, but she was a comedian. A comedian. Um, she was a, a legend in comedy. Like She was one of the first women that really came out and did stand up. You know what I mean? Like... No, I don't. Um, you gotta look at, like, Lucille Ball was... Okay, I know her. ...was a really, uh, huge, huge step for women. I mean, huge step for comedy in general, but Phyllis Diller was a even bigger step, because, like, she paved the way for people like Joan Rivers, uh, Ellen, mm -hmm. Roseanne, okay. like, and that's only in the stand-up field. Like, think about any other woman that saw her... And saw her on, like, Carson. I mean, yeah. like, she used to just blow Carson away. I so mean, was she the same, like, not that I think Lucille Ball's alive, but w would they have been generally the same age? Like, I'm trying to get, like, a litmus of how old each of them would be. Because Lucille Ball died a long time ago, right? I'm not sure. I don't know the dates on Lucille Ball. Um, I should. Okay. I should, but I don't. Um, I, I know her discography or not. Discography? Filmography? Filmography? I think it's what just it? credits. Credits? <laughs> That's what I'll call yeah. That's what I'll call Oh, uh, man, my water's out. I'm going to have to start drinking that syrup soon. Oh, damn. Here's, um, here's an extra water bottle, but it's... it's um, uh, okay. The syrup um, um, I, mean, I mean, I did this to myself. Yes, you did. Um, but, yeah, Phyllis Diller died... Um, so you natural say causes. She's, she's more prominent Neil Armstrong than, died of natural causes. And he was the spaceman. <laughs> yeah, he was he was the spaceman. And it's, he walked on the moon. Yeah, um, but yeah, Phyllis Diller was was a really big loss. But I mean, and this will be the last thing I say about this. And this is something that I'm very very happy with, um, with the Tony Scott death or suicide, and you know you just see everything else and like the Todd Aiken stuff that's going on. Uh, we'll talk about that in a second. Um, it, you just you see comics jump on any situation, and it's like good comedy, bad comedy. But comics are always going to jump on a situation, you know, and try and make light of it, or or just try and slander it with humor. Mm -hmm. But when Phyllis Diller died, like you saw a lot of people, and for me, this really made me happy. That you see a lot of people just they took their hats off and they just said thank you. Um, don't. Well, I don't know. I just I felt like I was being disrespectful. I want. Well, first of all, we are indoors, so you shouldn't be wearing a hat. But you look good. You Thank look you. sharp. I'll keep um, it on, but there's nothing. Did against... you know we were gonna have a talk show this morning? Yeah, I dressed up for it. God. Um, I have a tie on. But yeah, uh, comics everywhere, and this is something that made me very happy. Is there was a lot of respect and a lot of support. Like she did a lot for the art, and and everybody really stepped up their game to to let her know that and. Mm -hmm. I know she's dead, and I don't believe in heaven or a higher power or anything that transcends that. But I believe in comedy. And I was really happy with what comedians did and, and said for Phyllis Diller. Um, now, as the scale keeps tipping, Neil Armstrong uh, died of natural causes as well. I and just can't believe I didn't hear about that. It's well, huge. I mean, it happened yesterday. Like, it's still yesterday, technically, isn't it? I mean, I just passed out. Time doesn't... I've got this great time machine. It only goes in one direction. It only goes forward. It's called sleep. It's called sleep. Um, <clears throat> but uh, Neil Armstrong died, and that was, you know, he, he lived a full life. You know what I mean? And so did Phyllis Diller. And, like, when you say someone lived a full life, you know that they did something that no one had ever done before, and that they made it possible for people to do it afterwards. And I know, I know I'm not comparing, you know, science and art are two things that never the twain shall meet, but I think that they did. I mean, Neil Armstrong showed us something mm -hmm. that no one ever thought was possible. It could be done, and could be done... What about Rube Goldberg? Oh. He did, isn't he the one that does, like, it's science, it's that action thing, <laughs> and it looks so cool, it's like, stuff happening. <laughs> did you just say... It's so cool. It's like stuff happening. Well, I didn't happening. want to say it was. I mean, I think it's art. But stuff you know, happening. Have, have you seen? Have you seen one of these Rube Goldberg machine things? I don't think I have. I mean, uh, it's like. Do you remember the movie Pee Wee's Big Adventure? Yeah. 
you know how in the morning he makes his his French toast or whatever he's making? Is it like balls rolling and things happen? Like in Back to the Future. Uh, perhaps. The alarm clock that wakes up. Oh, God, there it was. Oh. Careful. Don't throw it under the plate unless you're going to finish it anyways. Well, I gotta eat. Yeah. So, but that's that's kind of like uh, art and science meeting. Not, certainly not. I guess comedy, too. You could have some real comedy in one of those things. I can't eat any more of this. I feel sick. It's probably from chugging the maple syrup. Oh. <clears throat> so, Clay Aiken did something this week. Oh. There we go. That one's for me. <laughs> you were the one who said it. Mmm. 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 Is it Clay Aiken? Oh. Is it? No, what part is it that we're drinking? Todd Aiken. Who's Todd Aiken? He's a senator from Missouri. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. I am. Oh. Here we go. I'm spinning. <laughs> oh. He said that a legitimate rape a woman can't get pregnant from. Yeah, yeah. Because she has a way of... And this isn't me being a dumbass. I am a dumbass, but this is really what this dude said. Neither of us believe this. She can shut the whole thing down. Yeah. Um, that's disgusting. Um, I thought you could only shut the whole thing down when it came to oral sex. Uh, I, I, I've known some girls that got pregnant from oral sex. It's dangerous. <laughs> I don't think you can shut it down no matter what. <laughs> They're probably lying, weren't they? Yeah. Yeah, I think they were, James. <laughs> oh. I'm just going to drink this to that. You yeah. know, here. Here's the getting pregnant from oral sex. Mm -hmm. um, legs and mouths closed, ladies. Unless you can shut it down. <laughs> I'm just shutting it down really quick. Just shut it down. Shut it down. Would that be, would that be, uh, like, even if you could do that, Ugh. do you think that somebody, never mind, I don't want to go down that, that b bizarre, horrific trail. Uh, well, I think you've already taken us to the rabbit hole. Okay, well, here's what I was going to say. Would you want to have sex with a person that shut down the reproductive organs, or would you want to just use precautions? Keep the productive organs going, but just try not to get pregnant. Uh, uh, you lose some, <coughs> of the, the, some of the risk having somebody shut it down. Well, yeah, I mean, I guess that would be like a really good plan A. I guess so. I guess. So. I mean, yeah. I if I, I mean, I due to drugs and alcohol and tight underwear, I think I've come pretty close to shutting down my reproductive organs. <laughs> um, my ba my dick is just basically a windsock that the rest of my body uses for uh sense for, of direction. You know, yeah, for bodily functions and sense of direction and also to gauge temperatures mm -hmm. and uh and distance. Um so when he said that, people people were upset. Yeah, uh, yeah. Tyke well, I mean, you know, Troy <laughs> Scott Aiken? Aiken. Mr. Aiken. Senator Aiken. We'll call him that. I can remember that. Senator Aiken. Uh, Let's drink on Senator Aiken. Senator Aiken. Oh, no, not to Senator Aiken. God damn it, James. I'm sorry. Uh, Sen Ugh. Senator Aiken yeah. has gotten some people upset. I, we, we don't support anything that he has said. We don't believe anything that he has said. Um, if I could have sex with a woman, I, I think actually most times I've had sex with women, they've shut down their reproductive organs. It's probably a survival they, mechanism. Oh, well, of course. I mean, because God forbid this carry on. I think, uh, I think that would be a, like, like Neil Armstrong was one giant step for, uh, mankind. Uh, I would be one giant step backwards for mankind. Uh, I don't know. I feel like you, you, it may be... Yeah, uh, I think that you're you'd still be a step forward. Uh, <laughs> your 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 children would still. I mean, you're not that bad, Charles. Oh, you're doing you're doing okay. 
I slept inside last night. <laughs> You're doing great with yourself. You slept inside. This place is not rolling anywhere or getting towed. We're fine. You know, I don't have people coming tapping on the window asking me to clean my car. <laughs> I'm trying to sleep here. <laughs> Can't clean, is, are they asking to clean your windows? Yeah. For money? And my whole, and my whole car. You, well, the, you, you know, can we clean your house? Can you clean your oh, Okay. It's for real? Yeah. Wow. I would not go to a person to sleep in their car to try to get some money from somebody. I know. You would think that, but people still did. Um, okay, so moving on. We, we only have like a, a little bit of time yeah, left. we're pretty much done um, here. You know, I, I want to talk about... <clears throat> One more thing, I guess, but I think I forgot what it is. It's I know, okay. I know, we had a subject. Come on, you got this. Oh man, you got this. This Hang is on. the end of the show. This is the yeah. big segment. God, you said you said that there is an important one. I know. I'm and sure I know. you wrote it down somewhere. Oh, Where would I, you write that? I don't think I can write. Oh, I think. God, I think the second wave of vodka is hitting me right now. Yeah, what? That was. We you, came home and drank last night, didn't we? Yeah, we did. It was Citron. Uh, I don't think it was very good. I I, uh, I mostly had water, um, but I kept pouring you citra. <laughs> I don't know why. I, I thought, to myself, I thought I've drank way too much. But I don't want to look like a pansy, so I drank water. <laughs> you, you, oh, you were drinking water the whole time, and you were pouring me that acid It tastes reflux. really disgusting, is the problem. It tastes like bile. Yeah, it really does. It really does. Which I'm very curious to see how that's going to make my throw up taste. Mm. Um, you never know. Yeah, I'm I'm very anxious, and now I have my whole esophagus is coated in Aunt Jemima, so uh, I'm I'm anxious to see what's going to happen um, in the next one to two minutes. Well, I am too because there's still one thing that is a big story that you were going to get to. Oh, are we still talking about that? I I'm not. Are we still about. here? We're still here. Um, yeah. Come on. I'm, I'm going to take this hat off, send some brainwaves over to you, because these ones are good. Oh. Go ahead. There's one more thing. There's one more thing. <clears throat> There's one more thing. I could tell you about... You never watched the video, but I saw Magic Boss and got onto it. What? Did I tell you about that? You, you didn't watch the video. I tried to show it to you the other night. What? I stepped onto the interstellar transmission bus and there was a live band and there was a belly dancer and there was what? crazy lights yeah I'll show you I'll show you later you guys have either seen it or should see it the music was awesome oh oh this is what I wanted to talk about um yeah we uh, that sounds crazy to me but, it's you know, too hard to explain. You'll have to see it. You'll have no, to I'm see it. You. And also, um, please keep sending in suggestions and things <laughs> for when we do something for nothing. Um, we love your comments and we love your your suggestions, but we need more of them so that we can do fun things and involve uh, y'all. That's a really big deal for us because we want to keep doing fun things and start implementing them into the show so that we can make this a uh, bigger better overall experience and show um you know we just we want your advice and we want your tips um exactly. stuff to talk about you know things like that uh because i don't prepare for this the way i prepare for this is i get drunk the night before and i sleep on the couch that's all the prep work that i can be held responsible for so i need help with that um House. Oh, I knew that there was something. For this, real. Is this is what I want to talk about. I was like, "There's about. no way <clears throat> he's just lying so that I drop it." All right, here, let's hear. It. Oh, um, okay. So, what the fuck is up with with New York State senators or senators from New York in general? Uh, Lil Wayne made a comment, and this is you know we should all take everything that's good and right in this world from Lil Wayne. But Lil Wayne got out of Rikers Island. He was like, "I don't like New York." Because they have such harsh and such strict gun laws. Like, they put him away. And he was making a comment about how he doesn't like the state because they have such harsh gun laws. Mm -hmm. And the senators, uh, or a state senator came out and, and took real offense to what Lil Wayne had to say. And, like, you know, demanded an apology on, on a, a, a press conference. And... 
you know, that's the dumbest shit ever. Yeah, that person's gonna get a shot, Little Wayne. You <laughs> say something like that about Little Wayne, he's coming back. I mean, that guy's. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, that dude's from well. First of all, Little Wayne's from Chopper City. Pop, pop, make you feel at home. <laughs> What's that? Chopper City. You don't know what Chopper City is? Is that Detroit? No, it's New Orleans. Oh, why do they call it Chopper City? Um, because they say there's places in New Orleans you can't go. A chopper is an AK-47 for the kids at home. Oh. Chop a chop. I didn't know that. Yeah, chop and dissect you like science. Um, yeah, there's there's places in New Orleans that they say you can't go without a chopper. Hmm. I didn't um, know that. Yeah, that's why they call it <laughs> Chopper City. Hmm. Uh yeah, and the choppers and AK forty seven. So so how long did Lil Wayne spend it uh, behind bars? Um, I think he got out with well he's been he's been in prison, in prison, prison, four different times for a year apiece. Well isn't because there some he gets sort of out three after strike law or is it just California? Well it's he serves in different states. He's it's lucky. not all in one state, yeah. Um So you but, could do three in every state and well, you're no, going to fill up your, your You can't life. do three in every state. I mean, yeah, that just that doesn't work out. The, the numbers there are, are a little bit tougher. Yeah. But, yeah, like, state senators, stop taking everything people say so seriously. And still, New York senators more so than that. Like, Charles Rangel, <laughs> you're a gigantic dumbass. Uh, what did he take? Well, he was the guy that came out and said... And, oh, has it said that? <clears throat> well, no, no, no. He was the guy that said, um, you know as opposed to the high uh, living rate in New York, as opposed to the low rate of living in Mississippi. He said, well, a lot of people want to live in New York, and nobody wants to live in Mississippi. Uh, Well, first of all, it's not really a choice when it comes down to a lot of situations there, brother. Um, You know, (laughs) we we can't all be shit-eating politicians. So uh, enjoy your your house and everything else, your kickbacks, Charles Rangel. Um, But still remember that... um, you look like a character from the cartoon Lord of the Rings. I mean, you, not I the mean, movie. Not the movie. Not the movie. Not the movie. The Lord of the Rings cartoon. Yeah, he looks like um, <clears throat> close to what what Gollum or Smeagol looks like in, in the animated, except he has like a catfish mustache. He looks like a catfish politician. It's really funny that that he makes fun of Mississippi because he looks like somebody that would be from Mississippi. Mm. And then he's got the um, Al Sharpton. Um, slick back weave, not weave. I'm sorry, wave. God, uh, I'm back. This will be the last one. Water. I, I, I would stop drinking that. I, I started getting sick after I drank some. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Cool. So I guess that's it today. Uh, woo! I'll spill my coffee. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Everybody. We appreciate it.